Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I'm your host, Mike, the Wandering Duke. Hello, hello, hello. And joining me tonight, as always, is my friend and co-host, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Are you the Big Foam Loaf? I am the Big Foam Loaf. Yeah, why do you ask? Just making sure the listeners know who you are. Oh, yes. I am that Big Foam Loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh yeah welcome this yes. is as you mentioned scenario three Oof. of dark matter that's 3a which for us is the third scenario three okay so, so we're, we're doing on scenario a lot of scenario five right. yeah Ish. um i think we're doing well we're having fun if nothing else oh it's yeah a great, great campaign yeah. designed by say his name again mike a shoulder shoulder yes Really um, awesome. Great, great stuff. Um, love how things are tying together. And the story's been, yeah, little little nuggets here and there. It doesn't drag it on too long. It reveals stuff t in timely ways. It's not like a bad mystery where you know the answer right at the beginning. Right, right. So it's, it's well done. And uh, what we're looking, we're trying to find the lost fragment for Carcosa at the moment. And the first adventure yeah. didn't give us too much. We got some lines in a poem, and we almost... We, we almost got eaten by the thing, I believe. But Something we like that. didn't. But we didn't. And we saved some people, too. And then the last one, that was neat. Uh, yeah. We found this Mego colony out what, on Titan. Yep. And it turns out they had a bunch of brains in a jar. And what we know is that our cultists were negotiating for some of these brains in a jar. We now know that uh, some of those brains were children's brains that were used to create the AI that is flying our spaceship. <laughs> cool. Yeah, when you say it like that, it sounds creepy. <laughs> All right. Wild stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> before we head there, let's just uh, have a look at the, the interlude here. Uh, we are, of course, trying to find this lost fragment. We have one trace left to follow. The last destination of the Tattered Demalion before traveling to Fragment was a research lab on a stray asteroid named Elbrus. This specific facility was built to study and experiment with the materials that exhibit quantum-like behavior. Mm. You aren't sure what the cultists were hoping to achieve there, but perhaps these scientists can steer you in the right direction. I have no doubt they will. And I'm sure there won't be anything evil there. Nope. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Daniel. Read us the story. Now, Mike, you remember who Maya was, right? Yeah, she's one of the kids in the computer. Yep, I think probably the one like, that wasn't corrupted. One of the five. Yeah, I feel like she's like the kid librarian that knows everything, sort of, right? Yeah, anyway. she was the one that helped us through the second scenario. Well, we're going to hear from Maya right now. When the world ended... The various scientific and mining communities of different nationalities that lie in the asteroid belt between the planets Mars and Jupiter had formed a pact, a promise to ensure the survival of mankind. The United Colonial Coalition is composed of 20 colonies, varying widely in size, population, and purpose. Some colonies exist solely for mining, while others focus on scientific research or engineering centers. These usually have fewer than 200 individuals living within them. Other asteroids serve as population centers, containing vast hydroponic farms, universities, and recreational areas. These can be home to more than a thousand colonists. When you arrive at the asteroid, you're absorbed by the fuchsia glow of Elbrus. Quantum materials have only recently been discovered, but may hold key properties that could be used to engineer devices that would have been impossible with classical materials. Unfortunately, quantum fields generated by these materials disrupt traditional radio communication, making it impossible for you to hail the scientists on Elbrus. Without further ado, you and your companions board one of the landing crafts and drift toward the asteroid. The purple aurora spreads over the viewport like distant milk, filling the room with an electric tinge. Your final approach vector takes you directly over one of the larger craters in the asteroid. The computer calculates the trajectories and commences the final descent onto the rocky surface. It is just then that the shortwave radios crackle into a man's terrified voice. Abort the landing procedure now! Abort before... But it is too late. The warning lights begin flashing on and off as the craft spins out of control. You grab onto anything you can, but the vessel increasingly spins and spins until your arms flail and darkness prevails. 
Ooh, Mike, I think you should walk us through setup here. Whew, cool, hey? All right, yeah, so neat. this agenda deck is consists of three Agenda 1As. Mm. And I shuffled them. Okay. And we have a scanning deck. The scanning deck here interacts uh, in its most basic sense in that if we look at the agenda, the scan action says search the topmost card in the scanning deck uh, for an icon matching your current location and draw it. So there's no other special things we have to do. Uh, which is a bit ominous. Uh, let's see. And now, then there's a whole bunch of Mike, stuff happening with the act. But we'll, we'll can I can later. I ask you a rules clar clarification about this scan? Yes. It says search the topmost card. Search for the topmost card. Search for the topmost card. Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you. So it's like uh, yep. explore in a sense. And we've done that before. Right? It. Yes, we have. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what else here? There's going to be face down encounter cards put in our thread area. Okay. I'm sure there is nothing bad about that at all. No. Nope. Uh, if you would draw encounter cards from the encounter deck and it and the discard pile are empty, then you draw a card from in front of you instead. And if there are none in your thread area, you are defeated. Oh. Isn't that weird? Oh. Not... I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. Yeah. Uh, locations okay. will come into play, leave play. When they re-enter play, you treat it as if you just drew it for the first time. So all the clues you took off it come back and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so if you had things okay. attached to that location, they're not there as soon as that location disappears. Understood. Okay. And that should be all we need to know. There are a bunch of special tokens in here. We have the usual uh, skulls and cultists. We earned one broken tablet, and we earned okay. a, an elder thing. So we have one of each token, or sorry, one of the bottom two, and I think we have three skulls, two cultists, if I'm remembering okay. correctly. I think it's yeah. interesting you say the word earned, but okay. Yeah, as in it, okay. yeah. <laughs> Scenario's <laughs> words, not mine. Yeah. Um, well, why don't you tell us about this agenda, Mike? The Quantum Maelstrom. Oh, it's a Feynman quote. I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. No. Yep. Three new right. threshold. And we've already gone through the scan ability. Okay. Act 1A, Elbrus Station. Quantum field unstable. Evacuate Elbrus Station immediately. We oh. just landed here. The warning startles you awake. <laughs> Despite the troubling descent, the lander has coasted into one of the craters with minimal damage. It appears most of the asteroid has already been evacuated. But then who stayed behind to send you the warning during your descent? We That's a great question. Six clues to advance. Now, Daniel, it's important for you to note in this weird map of ours. Look at that weird map. Uh, let's read the story. The landing gear has been damaged, but nothing you can't fix with a bit of time and material. Well, for a lightning bolt, place one of your clues onto this location. While there are, for us, Mike, Four or more clues in this location, it gains resign. Escape this migraine-inducing asteroid. Oh, boy. Yep, so we have to earn our way to resign. That's all we know. But we can scan to get out of here. We can scan to get out of here. I love this connection, this, these eight smokes around us. Yeah, pretty wild. Very bizarre, very interesting. Well, are you ready to toast glasses, Mike? Let's do it. Ting, ting. Okay, ready? There you go. Um, well, if you recall, Mike, I possess a thing. Yes, and I was going to chat with you because, as it turns out, I don't have setup. I've got one card to set up. Okay. And so maybe you I'm should be the investigator I choose. Yeah, and I'm thinking, do you want me to investigate or leave this to you? Because I could also just do my scan and run and see what's there, which seems also good. I think that that's fine, Mike. All right. So do you want me to go first? Is that going to impact your turn? Yeah. No, I think you should take my... Uh, okay, I will do that. Two PS187 functionality. All right. Well, do I'm we going to... Well, hold on, Mike. Let me remind you what this does. 
I'm going to choose you, and that investigator gets an additional action during your turn, which may only be used to scan. But after you do it, you may draw a card or gain a resource. Don't forget that. That sounds amazing. Okay. I am spending a dollar and using a motivational speech to call in my good friend, Michael Lay. Oh, which he's means a good guy. I have increased my stats by 50% just by doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, neat start. Okay, but I, I do want to investigate things to start getting evidence on this guy. So, uh, but first I will do this scan action. I'm going to pull okay. the scanning deck down here, actually. Thank you, yes. Makes it easier for everyone to see. Hey, we have to find something that matches that circle. So, interesting to note that there's a lot of symbols that aren't our circle, which means there's going to be a lot of connections that were not seeing. I'm going to stick it here. Oh, I, I draw it. That's what it is. I actually draw it. Cold Waste. Oh. As an additional cost to scan at Cold Waste, you must either spend two resources or choose and discard two cards from your hand. There are no stars in the backdrop of this lost quantum. Okay. So that was free. So and these my, go back and get shuffled, right? They get shuffled. And I'm going to draw my card for that uh, bonus from K2. There it is. Burden of leadership. Uh, I guess I'm exhausting my ally. Already? Hey, this is the best time to get it. Best time to get it. Yeah. Because um, now I don't have to play around it, which means I can afford to take some damage on my allies. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to move, or do I move? Well, you can also scan again. Because I have two more actions. I might as well scan again. There's nothing stopping me. Omni transmitters. You can add a Doom to the agenda and test two book. If you succeed, each investigator at this location adds a tally mark next to their memories. Oh boy, we want that. Fires looming above the horizon. You are certain you have been here before. Oh, that's interesting. So when we think about connections here, Mike, does this connect to cold waste or anything it like that? It does not. It does not. Okay. Um, Daniel, I am going to move to this location, and I fully intend on clearing it out. When? I'm going to start. I want to get at least two evidence on Michael Lay, so I'll get one of them next turn. As long as I get one, I'm happy. Pre preferably okay. two. I feel like we should be there together when it happens, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the Doom thing. I'm talking about just getting the clues. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not doing Doom yet. Okay, well, we so that like, was... We like memories, though, right? We do. That Doom is a... It's a big ask, but we do like memories. We really, really like it. Your turn, Daniel. Well, sir. I think we always need a free teddy bear, don't you? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I could use a teddy bear to take my mental trauma in life. <laughs> trying to think of what I can do here. Okay. Um, the then... Still gets me. Mr. Potterson. I know, okay. <laughs> Mr. Potterson. That's so funny. So then I'm going to spend $3 to put an obsidian bracelet in my hand. Awesome. Like, that's really cool, right? It's a good bracelet. Good bracelet. Now, here's the thing, Mike. If I'm going to grab this clue, I'm even with it. Hmm. Hmm. But a part of me always likes to just see the first test to see how the game's going to go. Let's you know see if there's anything really awful here. How bad can it get if I just... Uh, again, putting cards in my threat area. Right now the know. tablet is the one you'd want to avoid, but that's it. You know what? I'm going to do it, Mike. Oh, by the way, I had to do my one switch into 
guardian. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. Hey, good thing we okay. had those tokens. Thank you for those. Um, I'm just going to do it. My third action will be uh, even up investigation. Are you ready? Yep. There you go. I that is how I got it's rid going. Of it. I got rid of it. <laughs> All right, so now we've got monster phase. Obviously, there are no monsters. Go ahead and upkeep, Mike. Ooh, I like this. Look what I drew. I sadly have to get rid of improv because I drew my worst nightmare. Oh. Which, Mike, you know, I need you to deal with. <laughs> you know what? It would have been really awesome for me to get that evidence before taking that on uh looks like i'm you spending a brute force on the worst nightmare oh well, hold on now hold on now we've got one doom although i do have inspiring presence and you know what might allow me to uh shuffle our encounter deck again. all right go ahead what do you got uh this spawns at my location it's amigo machine after he attacks me, I draw a face down encounter card from my threat area. Daniel, I will not be getting to you yet. But from your threat area? Yeah, yeah. But you don't have anything in your threat area. No, I mean, he'll still attack me. It just. It means it's a good time to get him. Understood. An alien drone correcting past mistakes. Really? I have drawn me a little Colors of Space. Test Will 3, if you fail, put this card in your threat area. You must commit all eligible card skill cards in your hand. To, oh, my God. Well, that's not great. But this is what the Obsidian Bracelet was born to do, Mike. All right. So I will test at even. Oh, yeah. The cultist says minus X. X is half the number of locations in play. So that's a one, minus one. So I fail it. Okay. Now, Mike, can I ask you a question? Shortcut doesn't. It's fast, but I still bring the guy with me, right? Correct. If I brought him to you, would that help? Yeah. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Um, what's going to happen? So I get one use out of my Calais. Two if I don't auto-fail. Um, I'm basically going to be spending all of my damage dealing this turn. Which is unfortunate, because if something big comes out, it's going to be a challenge. Uh Correct. Getting one evidence would have changed the whole story. And I can't get the evidence at the same round that I attack. Um, it just, yeah, did not get set up enough. So that's just going to have to be the way it is, I believe. Um, I still would absolutely love the chance next turn to get one of these clues off this location. So what am I going to do about this? You have Vicious Blow, right? Oh, yeah, I do. I have to succeed by two or more to do that. Oh, same with brute force. Okay, so I'm probably going to vicious blow. Well, wait a minute, own. wait a minute. What if I come to you first? I've got call for backup. Yeah. <laughs> and can grab a few things with it. Like a shortcut to you, right? Yeah. Call for backup. Hit whoever you need. I mean, maybe I punch your Migo stabilizer. That would help. Because I would at least save a card for next time. Because I'm thinking, too, like, my worst nightmare can only be dealt with by you, right? Yeah, that's the thing. So if I get to you, then... Then I'll brute force your worst nightmare and, ho worst nightmare and hopefully do it in one test. Right. And I'll back up your Mego that you can just sort of slap it. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. Sound good? 
Sounds good to me. All right. So I will free play shortcut over to you. Um, Charles. Oh, but now you got here. two actions with your worst nightmare on you. I have three actions with my worst nightmare on me. Right. Did you have a plan for that, or were you just... Uh... No, not really. I can't say I had a plan. Um... There's no way to get rid of the guy. I hate my worst nightmare, Mike. You brought it. You brought it into this world. I did. I did. What is the um, worst nightmare? Forgetting her lines? So she does what? Two psycho? Yeah, that's a lot. For me right now, it's a lot. Well, I can't just wait here for you, though, right? Like, it's... Can you evade it? No, you... you... I mean, yeah, I'm up one. Uh... So let me, you know what? Let me start over. Since... Unless uh, you could also... If you try to attack mine... Wait, what is call for backup? Call for backup will do an attack of opportunity against you. Will. And it'd be worth it if I could kill it. So maybe I try to run from this thing. Okay. Ideally, if it's in my location. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I will still shortcut there to do it. Okay. So that's one thing, right? Yeah. I don't know. I only have two cards. You played okay. a bunch. Remember, I do have a cherished keepsake and city embrace but bracelet can't take it all right so i've done nothing i'm going to try to evade this you ready yep evade it <laughs> let's just put it here so that's thing one yeah okay so now thing two is going to be to take a horror on my bracelet to discard color space. Nice. Uh, I would be totally I okay. I believe I have to wanted... put call of tobacco into my discard, right? What do you mean? Like when you play well, it? Well, no, because that treachery. It's not a skill. Oh, it's only skill cards. It's only skill cards. Yeah. All right. Thank God. All right. For me, do that's a problem. Need... <laughs> Do you need this backup to hit somebody? Uh, I would appreciate it. Okay. Do I absolutely need it? No. That'll spend one. Okay. So what backup's going to give me right now is a damage to an enemy at my location. So that'll be... I'll put that on this guy. Okay. You'll decide where that is? Yeah. I will get a clue at my location. Okay. I'll take it. And I will heal the damage from any card. I think you're the only one with damage. So I will take that. Synergy, folks. Synergy. Synergy. Then, am I done? Evade. Call for backup. I think I have another turn, don't I? Mike, would you like me to scan or not? Where are we? What Wait. does scanning say where we're at? You shortcutted, you evaded, you did your thing, and then you called for backup. You're out of actions. What's my thing? You um, got rid of your treachery. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yep. So then it's you, my brother. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to brute force this guy. Your worst nightmare. Okay. So this is one, two, three. I'm a five on a two, eight on a two, nine on a two. He's dead. I wake nice. up my delay. I can then just do a raw fight. One, two, three, four, five on a three. There we go. He did. 
unfortunately, that's all I got, so I'm drawing a card. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I feel like we dealt with evil pretty well. We did. Just don't give me another enemy, and I'll be happy for one turn. For one turn. Oh, so I would have had to use my free action to become a seeker to do that turn. Oh, yeah, you totally should have. Okay. All right. Um, that's a free action that wouldn't got me hit, right? So yeah, it's fine. Okay. Upkeep, because there's no monsters. Deduction versus strength in numbers. Fun stuff. Oof. That's tricky right there. What would you take? I mean, I'm a, I'm a secret three, player, maybe? but uh, I also see you don't like to go too high up on tests, so strength in numbers might be more your play style. Yeah. Yep. Especially with all your synergy, you might as well. It's four. Yeah. It's four wild right there. All right. Um, Mike, we have two do. What do we got? After you draw this from my threat area, you t I take a horror. Okay, so Quantum Collapse. It basically tells me to draw an encounter card here. If I don't have yep. any. Oh, draw each one. Ooh. Ugh. So it is now in my threat area. As a face down card, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. And I have drawn me a little Hound of Tindalus from the old days. Put him into play next to the act deck. While you have an odd number of cards in your hand, he's considered to be engaged with you. Okay, that is Aww. weird. That is very so, like, I'm weird. Gonna put him, I'm going to put him like where we can remember him and see him. If that's all right. Yeah, he's victory. What a weird so I, I would like to read you this from the faq <clears throat> Go ahead. the hounds of tindalos question is this real <laughs> yes the hounds of tindalos <laughs> enemies are real and its abilities behave as written and he says enemies uh, which means there's more yeah. than one which means i don't necessarily want to engage all of them <laughs> so do you have an odd number of cards in your hand I don't, and I'm going to make sure I don't until I have a plan on dealing with them. Wow. I um, personally don't have a plan on dealing with them. But it's our turn, Mike. It is. Okay. So we've got a clue sitting here that we could get. Yes. You wanted I, to get that, right? I do, because I want the extra evidence on Michael Lake. Okay. So on. And do you want me to let you scan? Let me think about this. You know, we should actually do the doom thing. Because we're in, we're in the doom's going to send it anyway. Oh, you're totally right. So do you want to be the one that does that? Because you have a better book than I do, right? Oh, you have to test... Ooh. Okay, that changes. Oh, crap. Okay, this odd card thing is going to screw me. Because if I play now, my art student... If you can't, Mike... Oh, it's the moment you do it, right? Oh, you're right. I don't even get to draw to drop down to two. He's just going to. Okay. I will do it then. Okay. I mean, I do have strength in numbers. Yep, that's fine. I am hoping to do four damage to him in one blow. Okay, so you're going first. I am going to go first, so I will do all the stupid stuff. All right, yeah, like... first things first. Let us investigate. This is a okay. two, and I am a two, three, four, five. Done. That, that cultist is, yeah. Okay, so now I have a nice, juicy evidence. Okay. All right, next up. I will add a doom to the current agenda. 
Oh, wait. No, I can't do this test. Why? Because I'm even with it. Well, not if I throw strings and numbers at you. That's true. Okay. So I will do it. Okay. Minus one. Okay. We each get to add a memory. We're at six. But we're now each engaged with, well, I'm engaged with the big fella. Oh, my God. Right. So you said you're going to hit him in one. Well, I needed Michael Lay standing for that. You promised me. I thought it was next turn. You guys promising you that. You promised me. Uh. Uh. What does he hit for? One and one. I mean, I can deal with it, but. Initiate. Yeah, because I have to. In Oh, I have to exhaust and deal that plus one. He's a four? You know what? He's harder than I thought. You promised me. Yeah, I know I did. This is a... Uh, this is wild. He's... I, this is a very interesting game for you because you've got none of your people. A, a, yeah. You know, like, you don't you know need what? your artist. Okay, you know? Daniel, pull that card back to your hand. We're not doing the memory thing. Oh? Pull it back. Okay. Because we clearly misunderstood what was happening in this turn. Well, because, I knew that I engaged them. <laughs> well, let's be realistic. We're going to need that to evade this thing. Right? Like if you we want, to... gonna... you think we're going to be engaged with them? Well, we're going to be engaged with them as soon as this turn ends, because we're going to draw a card. Well, I was going to play Tooth of Edsley. Okay, then he's engaged with you for the enemy phase. No. Oh God, yes. <laughs> see, see, it's a. Well, it's can a I play total... Tooth? And then... I can play Tooth and draw a card. But then. But no, then he attacks upkeep. you as soon as you draw that card. Yeah, upkeep. Like, the instant you play that card, he is now engaged with you. He's okay. in front of you, attacking you. Right, so, so, who, so do you still want to go first, or should I go first so we're freed up to do whatever we need to do? You have no way of doing a damage anymore. No, not really. No. So maybe I play Tooth of Etsley. I'm engaged with them. Right? I exhaust him to get out of there. And then you follow. Get out of where? Can... He follows. Like, he's, he's nowhere. I think you're on the right track, though, because what if you did that, and I just spammed cards to draw more things that I could yeah. use to fight? So, undo Michael A. You haven't found the clue yet. We haven't gone yet. Uh, I kind of like that. But, okay. I, I don't mind making that my first action, so just so not to roll back this too much. Uh, okay. If you want to just take right, the turn so, first, no, we'll just say right, I did so that. I go first. Yeah. It's from three dollars. I put into the vet. So. Yeah. So Boom. he's now engaged. I'm engaged by Ding Dong. Yeah. All right. I will now try to invade, evade him. Yes. With strength and numbers. Yes. And if you fail, it doesn't matter. He's not engaged with you. Because <laughs> isn't that very weird? Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. Oh my and god. That's... Okay. So he's not with me. He's not. Okay. Then I'm leaving. Yep. Leave or scan. Whatever. Does scanning from here help us? I guess it does, right? It might. This attaches to two other locations. Beyond but the minute, the minute the minute I scan, mm -hmm. I guess I don't have to use K two to do it. You can get a dollar. You can get a dollar, which I clearly need. All right, I will scan from here. 
what am I looking for here? This is such a wild scenario. Circle. Uh, you want a triangle. Oh, the top one. This one right here. Has to match your current location. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Ice Spires. Have you scan shuffle an empty location without a resource token on it back into the scanning deck? Have you scan at that location? All right. Weird. So, should we put it here? Is it? Yeah. How is it connected? Is that fine? That's fine. Is it only connected that way? So far. Okay. Don't forget to grab your money. Yeah. I will grab my money. How many things have I done? Uh, one. You've one, right? evaded okay. the thing. Oh, no, you, you two things. You played your suit the vet's leak, and then you evaded it. So you have one action left. Except I didn't evade it. Well, yeah, you tried to. Now, if I were to draw a card, he had engages me. Right? So I might as well not draw a card. Would you agree? I agree. You can move. You can <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm wondering if I should move back to the center. Who knows? Because... Because if we're not together, will he engage both of us? Even if oh, yeah. we have a oh yeah, cards? he's he's okay. massive. He's yeah. <laughs> There's no escaping him. You can run okay. as far as you want. I'm gonna head back. He exists everywhere, every wind. Sure he does. All right. That's you. That's me. Okay. Okay. So you've already done a thing. I've done a thing. Second thing is I'm dropping an art student. Yes, I know. I'm not getting a, a clue for this. Uh, I am then going to take an attack of opportunity. Playing. Calling in favors to pull her back to my hand. And search the not top nine cards in my deck. For a thing. Hi, Bonnie Walsh. she go in? Uh, I pay one resource. I pay the difference in resource cost. Okay. Yep. And you are engaged with the thing again. You're right. I am engaged with the thing again. Because I forgot about pulling that thing back to my hand. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of actions. I am out of actions. Are you sure? Yep. Investigate. Art student calling in favors. So he's going to okay. whack me. One and one? One and one. It's all good. Okay. All right. Upkeep. Interesting. Oh, I could. <clears throat> wish I had more money. A cat burglar would be great about now. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, guess what? What? We do out. We do out. You only realize now that every time you blink, something changes. Sometimes a few rocks will shift a few feet. Some other times you find yourself in a completely new environment. If the scanning deck is not empty, look at the top card of the scanning deck. If it is a location, put it into play and move each investigator and non-liminal enemy to it. We have all moved to the Shroud Generators, which seem to be right here. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, shuffle all other locations without a resource token on it. Without a resource token on it? Have we missed something about resource tokens? Nope. Not that I've seen. Okay, so 
do wow. Does that include landing craft? That includes landing craft. Okay, so yeah. all these go back into the uh, skating deck? Every single one. Okay. <laughs> and is Hound Attendant loose? He's liminal. So he doesn't move there with us. He just stays. Yeah. If there is another agenda below this one, set this one aside out of play. Otherwise, you start adding impending doom. That's not good. And then shuffle this agenda with each set. Of, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. This uh, got real. You All understand? Right. Yep, I understand. This okay. is crazy. Okay. So uh, I'm drawing a card. Oh, good. A quantum phantom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and he's dealt. He's defeated by damage, except from a spell or a relic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we did. God. We did not need this. Another hound of Tinderloose. <sighs> so we're surrounded by these things, and I'm engaged with it. Uh, I got this dumbass quantum phantom on me. Which is not helping anything. What does he do? He's one in one. Well, I can't keep getting a hit point. Yeah, but I'm Charlie. I have to exhaust, and it's going to take everything I have just to get rid of one of these hounds. So, here's Hold what on. I'm Hold going on. to do. Hmm? As long as you're attacking, who but cares who... about the phantom? Who am I attacking? Well, how did it lose? You said you could take care of him? How am I attacking him? He's not engaged with me. He's engaged with me. How does that work? Both hounds are engaged with me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I can... Wait, they're massive. They're engaged with both of us, aren't they? No, they're only... In... Well, what's the point of giving them massive? To show that they can be engaged with more than one person. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you just swing it them on me. Huh. That's an interesting way of doing it. I don't see why that wouldn't be the case. It's just fascinating. It has to be the case. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, so, I'm looking forward to it. And then the second you play a vicious blow, you're engaged with them anyway. Yeah, isn't that going to be fun? Where do I ever vigilant first? Because I can't kill the second one. There's no point in me being engaged with it. So, I'm taking an attack of opportunity from a jellyfish to be ever vigilant. What are you putting out? Okay. I'm putting out those. I am now engaged with everything. Did, Did I... you get a clue? Hmm? Did you get a clue? No, there's no clues here. What? Good God. Yeah, I know. I'm getting... Yeah. All right. So this thing is a four. Okay. Uh, when I initiate an attack, I'm doing that. I'm going to exhaust Michael Lay to do a plus one. And then going to exhaust Bonnie Walsh to ri raise Michael Lay. So I am currently hitting at a 2, 5, 7, and I need to succeed by 2 or more. So I'm exhausting Michael Lay for another 3. I'm a 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what's that, the third? I have, keep in mind, this is Michael Lay, right? I... I have yet oh to God. land a hit. Daniel, that's all I had. No, that... That's all I had. That might actually be a scoop on the scenario, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I mean... Because we both have no hand. 
I, I mean, what do so we do I at think, this point? You know, here, here's what I think we do. With the viewer's forgiveness, you accidentally dropped the bag and that token <laughs> fell out. It's not what you drew. Just in the interest of keeping things going? Yeah, I think we need, I, I okay. honest to God, we need to or else. That is the third auto fail and no. Yeah, we've. Yeah, we've. Will, I, I, hi, Will. <laughs> yep, it happened. Um, yeah, I think we're going to asterisk this one and have you redraw it. The fact that that happened on Michael Lay is just extra galling because, yeah, there's going to be a Michael Lay counter. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. So maybe Much don't better. take the don't take the other sign effect. Screw it. That, <laughs> that'll be our. I have killed. One of these hounds of Tindalos. Okay. I don't feel bad about it if you don't take the other sign. Sorry, what? I didn't hear you. Um, <laughs> all right. I am no longer engaged with that thing. Hold on. Hold on. Is this thing on? Yeah. Hello? 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 Um, yeah. I'm going to kill a quantum phantom. One, two, three. And I get to ready this person. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero, so that thing's dead. Okay. I'm afraid to draw cards. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna grab a dollar because I need it. Okay. This is insane. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card, knowing that take... I get attacked. Yeah, at least it's only one. One and one, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll draw a card. It's lucky. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to scan. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Right? And I'm looking for... So... The Shamrock, right? Yeah, now we need... Man, we need to progress. So we need <laughs> six clues total. We have, we have two, right? We have two. Oh, there it is. There's the Shamrock. That's these again. Yep, but you treat it as if it was just revealed. Okay. So, so it's got clues on it. By all means, grab clues. I'm heading down. Right. Yep. So I have done. Two things, I believe. Uh, for that scan, you can exhaust K2, right? Yeah, and I will take a dollar. <laughs> I'm no dummy. <laughs> um, Does he have retaliate? He does. <laughs> yeah, that would have been game over so fast. Yeah. Um, Mike, by your leave... I'm going to spend my next action taking, well, another dollar. Sure. That sounds fair. And I will take my free action to become a survivor. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Uh, monster phase. Nothing, right? Nothing. Okay. Upkeep. I am now... Oh, look what I found is so nice, isn't it? But Spectral Razor is also nice. Are these Tindalos' elite? You bet they are. But you know what, Daniel? Any damage is good damage. So you think I should keep the Razor and not the Clues? Oh. Tell me you've got clues settled. Oh, I I have at least one clue around settled. Probably two. If I don't get... I've had an enemy engage with me since turn two. Yeah. The thing is, is that I, get, I have look what I found. Right, oh, so... Bloody hell. But I also have Cat Burglar, which... It's just a weird position because... It doesn't matter who the fighter is. We you know what? all care about Hound of Tindalos when it's out, no matter where it is. Yep, you know what? I'm getting rid of look what I found. I feel bad doing it. 
So at least he's our victory. So right. So and that's got to be the only ones. These two. I hope so. Watch theirs. Uh, Mike, right. one doom. All right. What have I got? Oh, good. It's not an enemy. Uh, I get to attach this to an investigator or enemy without entangled. After whoever takes any amount of damage from a source other than entangled, each other investigator or enemy with a copy of entangled attached also takes that amount of damage. That is so crazy. What? So yeah. you can put it on you can put it on the thing right now? Yeah, and I am. That's weird. Okay. I have drawn radioactive decay. Put it into my threat area. At the end of your turn, draw a face down card in your threat area. If you cannot take damage. Okay. I see what this is all about. <laughs> yup. Okay, Mike, it's us. It is us. I'm engaged the big fella. I can spectral razor him. And then you won't be engaged. And then I won't be engaged. <laughs> uh, he's also engaged with me, but I, I now that I have Bonnie, that at least gives me some hope. So if I were to hit him for two, could you finish him off? Uh, barring more unforeseen circumstances, yes. Okay, so why don't I go first then, man? Yep. You okay with that? Yep. <clears throat> okay. I'll spend two to Spectral Razor him. I believe I am currently at a six. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. All right. Nice. So I've hit him for two. And he's no longer engaged me. So I will scan. Does that make sense for you? Uh, that's fine with me. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing a count. Uh, wait. Hey, yeah, that's fine. The cultist Are you sure? is... Yeah, because the cultist is still... That would only be minus one, which is safe. Right, safe that's zone. what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. So I need a... Triangle. This top one should do it. Yep. We're back in the landing craft. That was free, by the way. That was free. And with it, I will take the dollar. Good plan. Okay. Then, Mike, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to spend all four of those dollars for a cat burglar. <laughs> okay, yeah, but now good. there's something engaged with you, so I hope I can kill this thing. But, wait. I can disengage from each enemy with me and move for my last action. So, again, I guess it would re-engage. Yeah, it would re-engage you immediately. But you'd still get to move for free. Because it doesn't So do we off. need that? I mean it's a free move. Free like I Bro, I'm just trying to think like do we just need me to get back to the landing craft? I feel like Well we need maybe... clues. We need at the moment we need ten clues total, right? We need six to get to the next act and f four to get out of here. Right. And what do we have total? Two? We have two. <laughs> I think we're doing great. <laughs> um, so I'm currently engaged, right? You are now. Unless Maybe you want I to do don't... something before the cat burglar. Maybe I don't play the cat burglar. What do you think? But I'm uh, still going to be engaged. That's as the you're... only thing. Right? Well, unless I kill it. Which is chancy. It is chancy. And you can kill it as long as you're also engaged with it, right? Oh, I am engaged with it. Which you are. So, but I also don't necessarily need to get hit by it, right? Right. So you could always put your cat burglar out as your last action. Right. So I'm going to do that, Mike. But I'm going to play, uh, I'm gonna, just going to investigate for my second action. Are you doing radioactive decay? Because you're taking a damage and a horror every round. No, I'm not. Only if I can't put a card in the my no, threat. you draw a face down card in your threat area. Yeah. You don't have a card in your. 
threat area, so you take a damage and a horror. Oh, I see what you're saying. What a jerk card. Yeah, you don't want that. I don't want that. So I've done a thing. Let me grab my money back. So I've done only one thing, right? Did you? I mean, you scanned, but I it was K2. Yes. Oh, you spectral yeah. razor. Yes, you've you done one thing. I did one thing. Get rid of your decay. Yeah, I have to. I feel bad. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. Okay. That's me then. All right. Hitting I first. misread that card. I thought it was a little different. Hitting I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep being survivor. Sounds good to me. Uh, hit him for one. And here goes nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm up by two. Nope. Ouch. Up by two? Wait, why didn't you do Michael Lay's... Because he doesn't have any evidence on him. There's no clues on him. Oh, my God. The thing I has, have not been able to get set up all game. So I just took an attack of opportunity. I'm going to take another swipe. Uh, oh, dog out. And take another attack of opportunity for that. I'm getting chewed well, up. The moment you play him... Nope. You're disengaged. That's the problem. Well, and... He, yeah. So I he has how much damage? He's got one left? Yeah, he's got one left. So... I, I have to do it. I think I'm killing my art student. Put in a guard dog. Put in a guard dog. God, I don't want to do that. No, but then when he... Nope. When an enemy be... attacks, you kill it. Has to be out first. What I do you take, mean? I take the attack of opportunity before I play the card. Oh, and then you're not engaged anymore. So draw a card. Uh, I've done my actions. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm all out of actions. All right, so no one's taking attack from this guy, right? No. Upkeep. No. Oh. Bandages. Oh, boy. Sweet, sweet bandages. <laughs> I don't think I need fine clothes. But I might need Granny Horn. What I need is money, or I need a speech. That's what I need, Mike. All right, so I am engaged by Ding Dong, right? Yeah, we both are. What do we got? Okay. We're, at, we're going to be at two Doom now? We are at two Doom. Uh, okay. I take a horror. Okay. Let's put another Did one. Did you discard board. the card? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, done. All right. I have drawn cold vacuum. Test fist three. If you fail, you must either discard a non-story asset you control or choose and discard three cards from your hand. That's an interesting decision. It is, isn't it? Okay. Fist three, I'm even with it, obviously. Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. To the vet's lead. Oh, it doesn't help me right now. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm even. Minus zero. So I win. You passed. Wow. Okay. Damn, I was hoping to use Lucky so I wasn't engaged with that thing. Uh, I could probably kill it now. Well, let's see. All right. So, uh, yeah, assuming I'm going first, I think that's totally okay for me to do. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm up by four. Is that what I do? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I do. Up by four. Okay. Mm. Hey. He's gone. Okay. These what? hounds are awful. All right. So this gets discarded. That's action one. Okay. Action two. I'm moving to where you are. Hi. Hi. Do you want to scan? There's dogs around here. Uh, I would Here's love to you scan. like dogs. I would love to scan. No, these dogs. Why don't you suck. scan for free? Okay. That would be awesome. Ice spires. We've been here before. We've been here. And I totally shuffled too. Did you shuffle that deck? Yeah. Okay. Well, right. things only things only like lead to so many things, right? So. I know. Hey. All right. So my last action. Daniel, by the way, for your turn, we this is a good time to add Doom to the agenda and do this thing. Um, but I feel like I need to... Oh, hello. Phone from the 80s. Um, I'm going to investigate for my last action to pump up Mr. Lay. Okay. Six, seven. I'm an eight. I have the third clue of the game. Nice. And evidence on Michael Lay. Okay. Whew. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't really. Uh... All right. I should be okay. First, I'm going to spend four dollars. Granny Orange in the house. Look what she gives me. Will end of good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Okay. So now, Mike, I'm going to try to grab that last clue. Go ahead. Okay. And doom to your current gen. All right, I'll try to do that too. So I've done one thing, right? Yeah, you put out Granny Orn. Right. I will. Okay. I am up one, so I grab that clue. There you are. I don't even need Granny Orange nonsense. You don't. Okay. So then I'm going to do the thing on the card. Yes. So you're up. I will by... add a Doom to your agenda. Okay. And I am up two. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. Uh, minus two. All right. So we do it. We each get a memory. All right. There we go. And I will actually stay a survivor. Oh, all right. Because you're lucky. Gotcha. Because uh, I'm lucky. Yep. All right. Up. Monster base. None. Upkeep. Ha, 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 ha. Crystal Pendulum. I got the black cat. I got a motivational speech to bring out a cat burglar. Hey, fun fact, the black cat isn't a creature. You can't animalism him? Nope. Bastards. All right. Speaking of black cats, Mike, the agenda flip. Uh, it doesn't take you long for you to realize that there's no such thing as orientation in a place where anything can be simultaneously anywhere. Only the landmarks that you consciously observe will remain in their positions. Uh, okay, each investigator at a location without a resource token on it places the top card of the encounter deck into their threat area face down. And okay. That's us. That's okay. us. So I put one here. And you do the same. Shuffle all empty locations without enemies or investigators, without a resource token in, on it into the scanning deck. If there's another agenda below this one, yeah, okay, so we, we just put this aside for now. So all three of these. Okay. I just drew Amigo Stabilizer. Well, hold on. You didn't read us the next agenda. Oh, it's exactly the same. They're all the same. <laughs> okay. 
I it's thought you'd Richard. want to quote Feynman again. It's Richard Feynman from another time, another place. But at the same time, in the same place. I think I can safely Richard. say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. You got Amigo Stabilizer, eh? I do. Okay, let me put this over here. What? Why do I have 14 cards in my... Uh, you, for whatever reason, drew 14 cards. How did that happen? I won't ask. Well, there can't be 21 cards there. There can't? Well, did the what? discard pile get shuffled back in? It probably did. Be yes, it did, because you drew the whole pile instead of just one. How did that... When you drew a card yeah, into your yeah. area, you drew the whole pile. I drew the whole pile. Well, there were seven before. Yep. So, uh... There's seven. Those seven are in the discard pile. So how do I do that? You don't search, search, and take the bottom seven out. The what? Uh, if we've seen them before, yeah. All right, let me do it. Which means I should be drawing a new card, technically, but three, four. Sorry, everybody. Five. Like, if you don't mind taking those. Mm -hmm. Six. And the missing eighth one was the one that I had. There we go. Mm -hmm. So shuffle that up. Okay. Line. Now I draw. You draw a card. Right? I draw my card. It is entangled. Ooh. I attach this to an investigator or enemy. That's probably you. Um, we have no enemies anymore, right? I attach it to Lola. Wow, I'll remember that. <laughs> Hang on. Any amount of damage. Oh, that is so damn funny. After an attached enemy or it takes any amount of damage from a source other than Entangled. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, I can take it. I can take it. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it really doesn't. Especially because you're going to draw the next one. Cold vacuum. Oh, this one again. All right. Well. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Oh, I lose. And I lose in such a way that Lucky's not going to help me. Do you agree? I agree. So I am going to lose. If you succeed a skill to that. I definitely forgot Tooth of Etsy twice. So I'll get rid of it. Since I forgot it anyway. Might as well. Right? Yep. All right, so now it's us. Now it's us. And we've got a total of how more many? Clues. We need two more. Yes. All right, so do you want... Do you want to go first and scan? Sure, why not? Okay. Take gonna, a free scan. I'm going to drop out a black cat first. Okay. Uh, that puts me at amazing levels. Ice spires. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Oh, and I will uh, draw a card for that. Okay. You know, I'm going to get a resource. I'm going to need the money. I will move for my second action. Okay. And for my third action, this is going to be utterly ridiculous, Daniel. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Plus one is Plus seventeen. One. <laughs> okay. Because I could. Yeah. Yeah, I was that guy. So I feel like we might want to um get this last clue. Yeah. I have another evidence, by the way. Really, really nice. Okay. Um, 
By the way, I move my creatures it's... down here so I have them. Okay. Yeah, so I can keep track. So, Mike, I'm going to move to you. Sounds good to me. I'm going to investigate. I am yep. up one. Do you agree? Yep. Okay. I will get that clue. Done. So we've done two things. I've done two things. Should we spend them now? Sure. Uh, after you scan at this location, shuffle an empty location without a resource token down it back into the scanning deck. That strikes me as we need to go here at some point. Well, okay. the transmitters are gone, right? Well, only if we scan here. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's, yeah, I say we advance. Okay. Unless you want to do that at the beginning of your next turn. Well, what do you think? I mean, sometimes advancing is bad if you're actionless, right? How many actions do you have left? One. Yeah, let's do it next turn. Okay. Then I will spend zero dollars on a motivational speech to put out a one dollar cat burglar. Lovely. Which required me to free action to be a guardian. Yes, it did. Okay. Which leaves me a little vulnerable. But that's okay. Now, Greeny Orn, can I use her only when I'm a survivor? Yes. But I get her buffs all the time. Yes. Okay. Okay. Shall we upkeep? Shall we upkeep? There's no monsters, right? Intel report. Oh. Or deduction. I'm going to keep deduction. Okay. All right. Do you must. One do. Micro meteoroid. Ugh. Are we together? We are. I mean, I'll okay. be fine. No, I've got an obsidian bracelet, dude. Oh. So just fail. Well, don't spend anything. Okay. I won't. Oh, look, I failed. <laughs> by that's, how much? That's, I take two damage. I failed by, I failed by three, because I'm Charlie. Okay. So I will take three damage onto the, nope, or two damage two. onto the bracelet. Yep. Okay. That's what it's there for, dude. All right. And I will draw incomprehensible. Test book two for each point you succeed by. Take a horror. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I said what and then looked at the flavor text. <laughs> skill icons committed to this test subtract from your skill instead of adding to it. All right. So I am currently a Wait. Four. So if you fail this... Nothing, nothing happens. happens. I can't pitch this to you, can I? Damn, no, I can't. You are performing, yep. So I'm up two. You're up two. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, you got a bracelet. That's what it's for, right? That's what it's for. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, lost. <laughs> That was a weird world that was we were in. Really, truly bizarre. All right, so Mike, it is our turn, and we should now spend our clues. Yep. Uh, Who's turn? Who's going to do it first? Who's going to start? Do we need to say that? Yes, we do. I do believe. Really? Well, it's got to happen during our turn, right? And our turn hasn't started yet. You do it. You go first. You sure? Yep. Okay. Unless you have a compelling reason to send me first. I am in a unique position where I now get two good actions a turn. Okay. Which actually doesn't matter. Nope, doesn't matter. You'll, you'll get a free scan from me. Because the scan is free, so we're good. 
Okay, so take your scan. You finally find the lone scientist on the asteroid. He introduces himself as Erwin Simmons, the lead quantum researcher at the facility. They stole the stabilizing shards. Those cultists, he explains the recent happenings. Without the shards, the whole asteroid quickly lost itself in uncertainty. Everyone else was evacuated, but I stayed behind to contain the anomaly. Mm. If there are three or more tally marks under impending doom, yes, there are four. Unfortunately, it's too late. The maelstrom is affecting my reality. You need to leave this asteroid as soon as you can, lest you get trapped here too. Before you can react, the physicist fades out of existence right in front of you. Shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. Uh, okay, Daniel, I want you to take the top six cards and make a new encounter deck. Of the... Yeah, of the... Uh, okay. Where's the treasure chest? That I can't help you. you. Do you see anything in the set aside area? Not a thing. Oh crap! <laughs> okay. Uh, something happened here. So where are you? There it is. Shuffle Irwin Simmons into the top. Got it. Six cards. Uh, that's the fading one. Okay. So we have Erwin Simmons. He gets shuffled into these six. He gets shuffled into those six. Okay. And then, as evenly as possible, you distribute them in each investigator's threat area face down. And I don't care if you put more in front of me. It's fine. Okay. Hold on. Let me bring you. Proceed to those. act to destabil destabilization. So there's seven cards in our threat areas each. You mean seven total? Yeah. You just want them like that? Yeah, I'm just piling them up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then this is done here. So, next. You need to get out of here as soon as you can before you are also lost in the quantum realm. Although Erwin is fading out of existence, maybe you can find a way to save him from his ghastly fate? As an action, we can draw a face down and counter card in our threat area. If it's a treachery, we may spend a clue to cancel its revelation effect. We have to resign to advance. Which means we need four clues minimum. And to find the landing craft again. And to find the landing craft. Which I think is part of Omni Transmitters. All right, so we haven't done anything. It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to start digging through cards. Okay. I'm going to pull a card. Cool. For my next action, I'm going to punch said thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, on a two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw a card. But you don't have a clue to cancel this. Doesn't matter. I like this one. I like this a lot. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. So that's my turn. <laughs> Uh, at the already... end of my turn. So now I draw a face down encounter card. Oh. <laughs> that changes things. <laughs> that changes things a lot. Pretty sure you do it again, right? Uh, no. It's the end of your turn, still. Uh, I, I don't think it does that. Are you sure? Yeah, that's based on an old LOTR ruling with a similar effect. All right. All right, so I'm up. Well, there's nowhere to get clues. You've used my uh, discovery, right? No, I didn't use your scan at all. Oh, why is it? Okay. I have no idea. Okay. So we need clues. Yeah, which means we need more locations. And these things are all going to be reshuffled in two turns. Yep. So I will scan. 
from where we are. Okay, yeah. Uh, so scan now, and then we discard the omic transmitters. Yep. So what are we looking for? We're looking Equals. for the equal sign. There it is. The crystal peak. At the end of the round, this is empty and does not have a resource token on it. How do we get these resource tokens? I don't think we can. Is this something for... Or it's an Elbrus thing. Maybe we have to find the scientist. It's either we have to find the scientist, or that's the path where time hasn't run out. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, if there are no clues, record in your campaign that you have witnessed the primordial chaos. That's interesting. If this location is empty, that means if we're not on it, right? Yeah. Okay. So I will go there. But first, I need to figure out what I want to do with my... I'm going to draw a card. All right. Motivational speech, always good. What am I? I'm a guardian right now. Okay. I moved. I'll take my free action and become a seeker. Is that all right with you? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm there. I'm at the peak. I have a three. All right. So you're up by two. Oh, sorry. No. Are you playing deduction? I am going to play deduction. I assume that's why you switched to Seeker. Yep, that is. So you're up by two. Just two, eh? And you can't be Granny Orn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many actions do you have left before you investigate? Uh, two. Because technically speaking, yep. you can use your actual action on Tabooed Lola Hayes to turn into Seeker. And then, after you've pitched deduction to this test, you can use the free trigger to switch your role. It would mean you're spending two actions to investigate, but it would give you access to Lucky and Granny Horn. It's very janky. Mm. It's the whole using flashlight during an investigation to pick up a free clue with Lola. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. Okay. <clears throat> but I am going to motivational speech to be up three. Are you allowed to commit? You can't commit cards that are outside your role. Seriously? That too? That too. Oh my, I didn't know that. But anyway, I won. I Which means you probably, like, yeah, that's a few asterisks or something, I'm sure. I don't know. I mean, I don't really throw a lot of skill cards at any of my tests. It's not quite a thing I do. Okay, so I've done two things. You ready? Yeah. I'm now going to reveal a card. Amigo stabilized. So he's going to spawn with me, right? Would you agree? Yes. Okay. And uh, I can't spend a clue to get rid of the treachery. He's not a treachery. Exactly. So I can't do the thing that the act allows us to do. If you disappear, we lose this location. If you run okay. away. Um, you're actually a decent evader for once. For you're me really for really... once. You're always like, I don't put evade stuff in. All right. So, monster phase, right? Yeah. I'm hit for one. I'll take it on... I'll take it on me. Draw a face down card from your threat area. I don't want to. Actually, I kind of do, don't I? <gasps> oh, there he is. Erwin Simmons has showed up. Mike, I'm going to put him into play under my control at the end of the round or when you would resign. If there are face down encounter cards in any investigator's threat area, 
shuffle him with all face down and counter cards and distribute them back into each investigator's one. Ha! So he's constantly going in and out of existence, right? Okay. That is wild. At the end of the round, or when you would resign, if there are face down and counter cards in any investigator's threat area. Yeah. So what Shuffle is... Shuffle him with all face down and counter cards and distribute them back in each fist. Okay. So it's a challenge. We have to resign with him. Okay. So we need to get rid of all these cards, right? It is now the end of the round, right? Nope. It is in upkeep phase. Oh, I'm drawing the sign now. I don't care. Leo DeLuca is going away from strength and numbers. All right. So now it's at the end of the round. We take all these cards. Okay. And distribute them again. Daniel, I'm totally okay taking three, considering I have radioactive decay on me. Okay. All right, now we put a Doom on. That's two out of uh, three. Oh, there's another one of these. Hey, hey, hey. What did you draw? Oh, God bless The it. Hound. So he's engaged with me. Amigo Stabilizer. Okay. Also engaged with me. Daniel, at least I can take yeah. care of the hound. I need you. But I have two Mego stabilizers? Yeah. Okay. Um good thing I have a cat burglar. Do you want me to take care of the stabilizers? Or do you want me to kill this Tindalus hound? Tindalus gives us XP, right? You bet. Okay, just so you know I you're can gonna... get... I can get rid of them. Okay. Well, I can evade them anyway. Got it. I'm going to put out bandages. I am now engaged with the Hound of Tindalus. All right. I'm going to exhaust my Golay and spend a resource. I'm a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on a 4. Minus 3. Okay. Got to remember that. Uh, that's Oof. two damage. Uh, oh, and when I sorry, I did not, I did not want to invest in exhaust Michael Lee for that. I wanted to be, I'll exhaust my guard dog because it's exactly the same. I needed to keep him up. Okay. All right, and now if I do a second attack, I exhaust him again. So that's a two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Zero. Hound of Tindalos is dead. Yay! It is now the end of my turn. Radioactive Decay goes off. Do you want to, um... Entangle him? No, do you want to... Scan? Might as well. Or should I scan from there? Because I'll be there in a second. Yeah, maybe you scan. Okay. All right, so I have to reveal two, uh, three, sorry, two cards. The first one is Entangled, which I'm putting okay. on one of your uh, Mego stabilizers. So let's say if one of them attacked you, he would just kill the other one as well. Yay. Okay. Uh, the other one is a Micro Meteoroid, I think. This is just going to happen. I'm up by negative one. How about that? Yep, I fail. So I'm taking two damage. Let's Sadly, you're not at my location. One on him. I know, wouldn't that be awesome? One on him. Okay. All good. I have okay. got to get rid of these radioactive decays. Um, are you done? 
I'm done. Okay. So for my first act, Mike. Oh, damn. We have one round to get the clues off that location. Nah, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do well, it. Well, we don't know what's going to happen. Well, we're flipping the last thing on the on here, and they all say... So far, both of them have said... Put cards in the... Uh, shuffle them into I mean, the we got to find the landing craft, right? Yeah, we do. But if we want the campaign thing off this location, we would have to investigate. Although I, I understand you have two enemies, it's probably not going to happen. So... Uh, um, I'm actually in the cat burglar. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're moving to my location. Yep. Does not provoke opportunity. Okay. Then and then I'll scan from here. Okay. Okay. What are we looking for? We're looking for. The equal sign. Oh, there it is. Crystal Mines. Okay, just walking in there is bad. Yep. Okay. I might actually want to do that. So these Migos are actually here, right? Yes, they are. Okay, so... Oh, they hunt. Dude! They hunt! But they're going to be gone, I think, right? I don't know. Isn't the Crystal, isn't the Crystal Peak going to vanish? And they're not liminal. So I think they go. Well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> or we'll get beamed twice. All right, so Daniel, I've done... you, you might have just hit me for four damage and two horror. I don't think I have. I think they go away. Okay, we'll find out. I just disengage. I don't exhaust them, right? Right, which means they're hunting this turn. Dude, I might have really s screwed you up. <laughs> That's okay. I'm totally going to guard dog the entangled one and hit you for that. <laughs> Is there a way I can protect you? I mean, I, um, I can protect it. Like I, I'm fine. I'm actually fine. You're fine? Okay. Do you have room for another... Uh... Oh, you don't have any cards. Oh. Uh, drawing... Having to deal with an enemy next turn is going to be extremely taxing on me. Because I'll be taking two damage and two horror every turn. So I have moved. Yeah. And I've cat, bur well, I've cat burglared. That's all I've done, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'll spend two to get rid of a radioactive decay. Oh my god, you can do that. Oh my god. I totally yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, we're totally so good. You. We're totally good. Okay. Now. I'll take care so of these bozos. Then they hunt. Uh. Yes, they hunt. So they'll both hunt. I'll take them both. Are you sure? Positive. Okay, because I can take some hits. Here's what'll happen. The first one attacks me. He actually attacks the guard dog, and I heal it, bandages, and kill it. Okay. The second one does the same thing. Heal one from bandages, kill it. Which, Which also one is intended? They, one of them is. So you just took a damage, unfortunately, but entangled is gone. And by you, you mean the cat burglar? Uh. Or is it me? You know, what? I'll take it. I was. It just entangled. says you, but I think yeah. he. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Okay. So now we, we did really the... well for the monster phase. We did. Oh, upkeep. Upkeep. Oh, that's a great card. That's a really great card to have right now. So it was read the signs. Yep. Okay. Uh, but sadly, you have to read us a story. The 
basic property of quantum materials can be summed up as an elaboration of wave-particle duality. You never truly know what you are dealing with until you know. In player order, each investigator places the top card of the encounter deck into their threat area face down. Okay, so we now add a tally mark under impending doom, which means we are at five. I'm just going to put that here. Okay. And then shuffle this agenda with each set-aside agenda to form a new agenda deck. Okay, I've taken my card. Did you take your card? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we still just need to get out of here, right? Yeah, so we need to find the landing craft, have four clues. All right, I have two clues. And disappear with the scientist, hopefully. Okay. Uh, you're a bad guard. Oh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> No, I'm fine with that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight minus two. That's a pass. I have drawn a micrometeoroid. That thing okay. is all over the place, isn't it? All right. I am at, uh, well, I'm at plus one. Oh, I am. Cat burglar. I'm at plus one. Okay. Minus three. Okay. I will take two damage, right? Trying to think of where I want this. Well, one on the obsidian bracelet and one on cat burglar. What do you think of that? Beauty. That's what the bracelet's for, right? Yep. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, this goes back in the, in the deck. Oh, okay. Because it is empty. Actually, can I use the bracelet? Yeah. Because I wasn't a guardian. I can, right? Oh. Yes, because that's a passive effect. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Mike, I've got read the signs. That's pretty good. So... Let's not go to the crystal mines. Let's try to find the landing craft. Would you like me to start scanning? Yes. All right. Unless you think I should start scanning. It doesn't matter to me. You have to read the signs, so maybe I'll, just in case something nasty comes up and I draw a different card. All right. Go ahead and scan for free. These must be the only two cards this thing is connected to. Or I guess the yeah. three. Cards. We got to get back there. Uh, the caverns also connect, though, right? Maybe, yeah. Because we were just there. Um, I'm going to draw a card for that, by the way. Yeah. Get to the transmitters. You want me to? Because you've read the signs. Are you just going to stay there? Well, are you going to read the signs at the transmitters or somewhere else? Got the transmitters. Then there's no point in me getting... Oh, I see, because you want to resign right away. I see. Well, I think in... Maybe? Uh, I'm going to try... I would like to do one more scan. Okay. From here? From here. Okay. Because there should be... The peaks. Okay. So that was action one. Action two, I will move down here. We need four clues on it, right? Okay. Action three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, two, or three. Minus four. I have picked up a clue. 
Okay. End of my uh, round, I draw the top card of my threat. It is a micrometeoroid. I am going to spend a clue to get rid of it. Okay. You done? Yeah. All right. I will move to the transmitters. I will then spend two dollars to read the signs. I'm at an eight. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Whack. Whack. Um, all right. That was my second action, right? Indeed. Okay, so then I'm going to I'm going to draw the top card of my deck. Okay. Quantum collapse. Try to face on a card or card and throw it one at a time. Okay. So you take a horror just for draw. No oh, yeah. Yep. Take a horror, right? Yep. Okay. Granny Orn freaks out a little bit by this. So then that's gone, right? Then entangled. <laughs> yeah, you can give me you. that. Yep, yep. It was on you. I feel like that's only fair. And then incomprehensible. For each one you succeed by. Okay. So you're I'm not, up to. Yep, you're up to. You can't pitch because you're not. You don't have secret cards. <laughs> Yay. Oh, dude, auto fail. Oh, no. That's the fifth time I've drawn that tonight. Yeah, this is. You realize that, right? Like, Yeah, we both uh... drawn it quite a lot. Okay. All right. Um, That's my turn, which isn't great. Uh, monster phase. I don't think there are any. None. Okay, upkeep. You know what? Working a hunch is probably important right now. All right. One doom. Go ahead. So you clearly have Edwin. I see. We have two. Just timing this out in my head. I'll take the top three cards in counter deck into my threat area face down. Why? You have Edwin. He's the only card. Uh, because we doom out and all our progress gets wiped anyways. Why do we doom out? Well, we have one turn to basically get out of here before Landing Craft goes away. If you find landing craft, it goes away right away. Don't you think we can do it? Uh, I can't get there. Aren't we next to it? You are. Hmm. Timing wise, I can't make it. That's why. Also, I'm okay. You really, with that. You really don't think so? No. Okay. It'll be my problem. I will draw the colors of space. Just brains. Okay. I am up one. Okay, I failed. You must commit all eligible skill cards. I mean, technically, if you're the wrong class, does that mean you can... Then they're not eligible, right? I guess, yeah. Okay. All right, so it's us. So you can't get out of here, huh? Well, I can't get out this turn. There's no way. So I might as well just... Well, we need the clues, too. So I, well, might I was going to well... get those with work in a hunch, but... Um, I can probably get these two clues and at least get the... Witness the Primordial Chaos.
Okay. Why don't I do that? Do it. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh... I will actually. I'll actually be right back, Mike. Okay. I'm gonna pitch this because I want to heal up, Mr. Lee. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine minus four is a five. I still pass. I get a clue. I get an evidence. Uh, I will then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's for the second clue. I will then go one two for an art student kicking out an art student to pick up the final clue for free and then i will mark in our campaign log that we have witnessed the primordial chaos uh yeah And then at the end of my turn, radioactive decay goes off. Cold vacuum. You know what? I think I can safely get rid of that one. And that is my turn. I'm rolling now. I think what we have to do. All right, what happened? Um, I got the the campaign log. No. You got all three? Yep, got all three. Got the campaign log, and I still won't be able to make it back in time, but we're okay because I think if we just get a bunch of clues and just be ready for when the agenda flips to just get out of here, we'll we'll be fine. Okay. So we need me to scan, right? I it might not matter. I would just get clues. Personally. Yeah. Like, yeah, because okay. clues are gonna help. We're gonna uh -huh. be losing clues doing the getting well, I am the a stretchers speaker, out of here. So I'll spend two dollars fast to work a hunch. So I'll grab a clue where I am. Done. I will then use my fast action to become a seeker. Survivor. Survivor, I mean. Then I will investigate. I believe I am up two. You're up two. All right. Let me give you a clue. Thanks, man. So that place should be empty, right? That is empty. All right. Well, then I'm going to scan so I can draw a card. Sure. Okay. That would be this one. What do you think it is? It's a landing craft. Oh, yeah. It starts with a clue. forgot about that. Okay. So I've done two things, correct? Correct. You can try moving there. That would give us an extra chance to keep it in play. I will move there, and then I will use a fast action to place one of my clues. Uh, may not matter. Just be... Because we can't get a resource on it or whatever? If it if you put all your clues down and it disappears, they're gone. Oof, that's bad. Yeah. So why am I standing there? Uh, you're standing there in case we get that agenda that says everything that a person is not on gets shuffled in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so then I think I'm done. Monster phase, right? Yep, no monsters. Okay. Keep. Okay. Nice. Ooh, hallowed mirror. I just don't think we need it right now. I think we're all right. Yep. Oh, Not I like we need, it. maybe, look what I found. Just in case. 
All right. So we're at two doom. Oh no, I have strength and numbers in hand and have uh, colors of space. And you're a survivor. And I'm a survivor. So they're eligible. Yep. All right. So we have two doom. Cool. <laughs> did you do that, by the way, at the end of your turn? Sure did. Okay. All right, and I have drawn me a little Colors of Space. That looks familiar. All right, I am up one only, correct? No, you're not. <laughs> you sure oh, aren't. I'm up a whole bunch. There it is. Thanks for helping me pass by 10. Yeah. Jesus. All right, that's me. All right, Daniel, my turn's going to be boring. Well, then do you want to do it first? Yeah. One, two, three. Hi. Hi. You want to throw some clues down? I could be playing this game by myself if that happens, because I cannot resign anymore. And we don't know what's going to happen. There is one agenda in there that says we all move to a different location. All right, well, it's the end of your turn, so you have some things to satisfy. I do. Oh. What did you find? Cannot be canceled or ignored. It's called Call of the Void. Because there are at least three tally marks under Impending Doom, we Where have... Are you looking? Uh, I have a lot of things in my threat area, so I've moved it. Well, you can drop a clue to avoid it. Cannot be cancelled or ignored. Bastards. Uh, we have a very nasty enemy in that deck. Okay. In the scan deck. Okay. And entangled. Uh, that's not worth cancelling. Let's just not get hit. How about that? So, so I you've got Erwin in your deck, right? Like he must be the last card. Okay, so it's my turn, right? Yeah. Okay. What do we need me to do, man? <laughs> Maybe get that clue. <laughs> I mean, that's really it, right? Like, we're going to want to dump clues, but if we have lots of clues in hand, then at least... I feel like we've this whole thing has been about trying to get ready so that yeah. when we start a new agenda, we just go. Go for a landing craft. Done. All and right. it took I us this get, far to do it. Yeah. I will get that clue. Or I'll try. I'm up two, right? I'm up two. I'm down two, so I will I'm lucky. I'm gonna grab that clue, Mike. There you go. How do you feel about that? Sounds awesome. Then, for my next trick, I'm going to get... I'm going to take a horror on Granny Orn and get rid of my colors out of space. How do you like them apples? Awesome. Awesome apples. This is great. Love it. Love it. Are you sure? Yep. I could have not done that and uh, nope, gotten good. rid of one of your radioactive decays. We are so good. All right. Then I guess I'm just going to draw with my last act. Yeah. Cheat in the system. Okay. It's fast. I don't think I need it right now, do I? One, two, three gives me three dollars. I think I'm fine. All right. Then I guess we upkeep. Upkeep, yep. Lock picks or shortcut. Shortcut is probably more valuable right now. All right doesn't take long for you to realize that there is no such thing as orientation in a place where anything can be simultaneously anywhere. 
Only the landmarks that you consciously observe will remain in their positions. Each investigator at a location without a resource token on it places the top card of the encounter deck into their threat area, face down. Daniel? So we actually stay where we are, right? Yeah, yeah I've got your card. Thank you. It's right there. Yep, thank you. Okay. Now bad cards. Now bad cards. Sweet. Migo Stabilizer. Awesome. Sweet. Quantum Collapse. Draw each face down. Okay. Cool. That's it, right? That's it. And then I have to... It's quantum Collapse. Sorry. I have, I have to, to take a horror. The cat burglar takes a horror, Mike. Daniel? Sir? I think you should go first. You sure? Because you can. I can't resign. Oh, wait. Never mind. Doesn't matter anymore. I think we can both resign, can't we? Yeah, now that you, since you drew that quantum collapse, it doesn't matter what order we resign in. Well, we need Edwin out, right? Yeah, yeah, but, but I couldn't go first because I'd get him out, and then if you had cards in your area, he would just get shuffled. So How are you going to get him out of your... Actually, you have to go first because you have five clues. Okay. So you just need me to drop all four? Yeah, I just need you to do to draw at least drop at least four. You can drop all five if you want. Oh, all right. It's all good. There they are. All right. Get out of here. You want me to get out? Get out. There's nothing you need me to do. Not a damn thing. You sure? Positive. Not get rid of any cards? Nope. All good. You know what? You know what? Before I resign, I'm getting rid of drawing the signs. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> then I'm bouncing. See Thank ya. you. <laughs> All right. Let's take uh, an attack of opportunity from this stabilizer thing. Okay. Oh, your tangled is gone because you're gone. And my guard dog hits the guard dog. Guard dog kills the stabilizer. Okay. Uh, that is to draw a card in my threat area. It is a stabilizer. Cool. I'm then going to take another attack of opportunity, putting a damage on him, on the guard dog, which kills him, to draw the second card. It is Erwin Simmons. I will then drop two clues and resign. Done. Done. You have an act to read to us or something? Uh, yeah. The shuttle takes off in a medley of noises and barely escapes the collapse in quantum field. Irwin looks down at the facility in melancholy. Years of his research, lost in this unreality. Despite the tragedy, he is grateful for your efficacy. Hmm. Number three. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. A few moments after you return to the tattered rebellion, Elbrus implodes in a cacophony of ephemeral haze and pops out of existence. This is a sighs in relief. Thank God you came in time. It's a shame about all that research that was lost, but at least everyone's safe. Now please explain to me why we are now in the very ship I remember came to pillage our facility. You brief Irwin on your quest and discuss what purposes the cultists could have had with the quantum shards. The physicist proposes several ideas of quantum weaponry or tools, but none of which make any sense. Regardless, he's willing to join you on your quest out of goodwill or curiosity. You're unsure. Still unsure of why the cultists have come, you prepare for the next destination, which may finally give a few answers rather than pose more questions. Mike, in our campaign log, can you record that the Elbra station has been lost in the quantum realm? Uh, sure, I'll do that. Okay. An investigator may add the Irwin Simmons story asset to their deck. So, you want them? Uh, the story asset? Oh, he's somewhere else, isn't he? Well, 
Let's see what he does here. Oh, do I? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the, uh, I just saw the two wilds. Uh, when oh, your okay. turn begins, put the top card of the encounter deck face down into your threat area. Fight, evade, investigate. If you fail, deal one damage to Erwin Simmons. Interesting. Okay. What? When he leaves play, draw all face down encounter cards in your threat area. Um, he's not as useful to me as I thought. Because in order for me to do those tests, I need to have... Well... Take him. Yeah, he's a mixed bag for me. I mean, I'll take him because he's too wild. Okay, well, let's just leave them both up here. Okay. All right. Um, each investigator earns XP equal to the victory X, which is five, right? It's three. Can we clear a location with... Wah, wah. Wah, wah. They got shuffled okay. back into that deck. I This whole resource on locations thing oh. did not happen, so that must have been another... I still don't know how it would have. The other path. Uh, when you advance the act, if this is the first, maybe second scenario you go to, you go on another path. Oh, but because this is our third, we destabilized. Okay, I see. All right. Uh, Mike, can you please add two tally marks under impending doom? We are now at seven. And then we return to search for fragment on page 10. Well, guess what? We skip to done. interlude two. I think you've got some rule reading to do. Introspection. The strange quantum shards, the golden disks obtained from the Mego, the cryptic message from Earth. Despite traveling throughout the solar system to uncover these individual pieces of the puzzle, you still can't seem to fit them together into one big picture. There is a key element missing, a connective tissue that will make sense of it all. Of course, there's also still one place you know for certain contains all your answers. But you fear what you may find there, and that place is your own mind. Truth. Deep within your own subconscious, you can feel a shimmer of the cultist you embody, imprisoned in the edges between your thoughts. You know for certain that the other version of you remembers how to find the fragment. Entering one's own virtual mind is particularly dangerous, as any small mistake could send you spiraling into insanity. But you are ready to confront your past once and for all. With the help of K2, the Cryo Chamber's dream protocols are once again tinkered with to access your own personal memories this time. You lie back down in the Cryo Chamber once more. With a flick of a switch, you begin to fall back into unconsciousness. The investigators may choose to take their time to search the Tether Demalion for any more important details they may have missed. If you do so, add a tally mark to Impending Doom and to each investigator's <laughs> memories. We gotta do it, Mike. All right, we are now at impending doom eight. Memories seven? Memories seven. Each. Okay. The investigators may choose to enter this simulation of the Earth's histories to learn more about this future by playing a side story, crossing out memories instead of paying its experience cost. Oh, experience okay. earned by playing the side story becomes memories for investigators instead. Weird. Return to this section of the campaign guide after fin so we make this decision now. That is wild. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Unless you want to go like totally wild. Go uh, Ruger or something? No, no more wild than that tell me what's more wild uh one neither of us have played yet mm. there is uh we could stick with this theme of uh, fan-made scenarios there is one that uh, i've heard good things about it was made a while back it is a standalone we could jump on that mike mm -hmm. let's do it Then we shall do that and return to introspection this point later. Later. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was a thing. Wow. Yeah. Um, 
We saw it with the you chaos. You wouldn't have put it in here if you weren't supposed to do it. Sure. Right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, that's so exciting. This was a neat one. It's like lost so time going, and space on steroids. Uh, I wonder if it's. I, I don't want to promise anything on air because what if it's not actually in here? I mean, it should be. Oh, okay. We have. Uh, Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, here we go. Fan made campaigns, fan made campaigns and miscellaneous. Fan made scenarios. Let me have a look here. Yeah, this is this is great to have on here. Okay, we'll find something. Mm -hmm. But I, oh, I'm not actually seeing it. We're going somewhere fun, everybody. Oh, yeah, here it is. We're going against the Wendigo. Nice. Yeah, I thought you might like that one, Daniel. Oh, thank you. We're yes. going against the Wendigo. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. <laughs> I don't know so, anything about it, so we'll find out. Me neither. <laughs> But I love that myth. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for Thanks watching. Thanks, everybody. That was a little longer, but hey, I hope we had fun. Uh, we will this catch This was you. a fascinating scenario. It was, wasn't it? It's done well. What an interesting design. This whole thing has been intricate and fascinating to me. Yeah. How Ashola told managed to get that many autofails in the bag without us knowing. Like, yeah. Mm, mwah, um, what brilliant that design. Clever. That was clever. Chef's yeah. kiss to you. Okay, good night, everyone. Good night, all. <laughs>